it's the last day. So it's the final day after over three months of daily draws where we've been here right through, even right through the Easter holidays, through all the bank holidays, um, here to help you get through this lockdown and homeschooling period. We have loved being there with you and seeing everything that you've been doing and we really hope you love this last day. So we started off right at the beginning with a Hedwig and we're going to finish today back with Harry Potter, back in the magical world of Hogwarts and we've got a snitch and then to finish off a really rather magnificent Dumbledore. Let's get drawing. This is it, the final daily draw, the 136th daily draw. Elizabeth and I are so exhausted and ready for a little break, but we wanted to finish with a brilliant one. So I'm going to finish in my sketchbook. I think that so far is one of my favourite ones, the Winnie the Pooh. The We're gonna... four was mine. Uh, which one was that, Elizabeth? Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Beauty and the Beast was Elizabeth's favourite, yeah. We're going to finish in the sketchbook. You can see I've just done the snitch for the junior, so don't forget to do the junior one as well. And now I'm going to do Dumbledore. Dumbledore's going to fit in here. Now, if you're looking at that thinking, oh, Joanne, that looks quite hard. Well, I'm going to bring over the final drawing here. It does look hard, doesn't it? What do we do when we look at pictures like this? We break it down and I'm going to tell you this, it's a heck of a lot easier than Bowser. So we are going to, I'm going to put it up here and we're going to break it into shapes. Look at this. This is how we, this is how it's done. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, what are the key shapes here? And this is how you are going to, uh, I, this is how I approach drawing. This is what works for me. So I'm going to start off in the middle of my page with a very simple line. This is going to form the lectern. So from here, I can really build on what I want. And I'm going to take it across. I'm going to put a square. And then I'm going to take that line down there. Now from here, I want a curve coming out, which is going to form the rest of the lectern here. So I've got a curve. I'm keeping my grip so loose here. And then another straight line there. Everything is shaped. When you start thinking about it in terms of it's an eye, it's a nose, it's like your brain just seizes up and it's, you struggle to do it. This is the edge of the lectern there. And then what I'm going to do from there is I've got a ball, but the ball is not in the middle here. This circle is there just at the end and then go slightly above it. Take that line up and across and up to there. So coming out in almost a straight line really there and then take that curve there like that. So that's the first few shapes here. And now I'm gonna add on the shapes which are gonna help me to build Dumbledore and also the candles. So if I'm taking up an invisible line there, I'm gonna to go to there, I'm gonna put in a block here, a smaller rectangle there, and then a kind of curved shape on the top here. Right, coming up here now, let's get these candle shapes in. I've got one, two, and then at the end, that's going to come up, down, up. So it's as high as the top of his hat here at the side. And down, and now the very final bits of this shape. Let's take it out a bit at the edge and up. Down, up. And then the very last one here. And then we are gonna pause that and you pop those basic shapes in, constantly thinking about the size relative to the shapes around it. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in, we've got all our basic shapes, and I'm gonna really focus on the lectern, actually, which is quite complicated. 
It looks complicated. It's this amazing owl, but I'm going to bring it. I'm just going to take it from the shapes. So first of all, this circle is going to become the owl's head. I'm going to flatten the top. I'm going to put in these two little ears like that coming down and then I'm going to bring it round. So you'll see this when you pause, all these shapes are there. The eyes, rather than circles, it's like two semicircles and then another two semicircles on top and a shape for the, um, for the beak. Now I'm going to get my rubber and just rub that square out. That's going to give me a guide here, but really all I want is to come down like that here, and then I'm going to start off the wings like that there. So you'll see any lines that we're rubbing out are in red on the um, on the um, guide sheet when you pause it. So if I go up to the top now, it's quite funny this, because you, when you're drawing something, you really look hard. And when I looked hard, what it actually is, it's the top of a clipboard. Somehow, I don't see Dumbledore having a clipboard. It really surprised me, but hey-ho. We're going to come down here like that with a little shape each side and then take it up to form the wing, wings. Take it up there to form the top of the wings. So we've got the top of the wings in here. And then here, all we're doing now is we're bringing down these shapes like that. It's actually not totally unlike a snitch, to be honest. We're just bringing it out, these feathers. Put a couple of little lines in there that we can put in. And then each of these is just a feathered shape coming out like that. And I'm going to do exactly the same on this side here. So feathers coming out. I'll take it up to there and get these big, sweeping, amazing wing feathers coming down. And a couple of little lines there. And I think I'm quite happy with that for my owl. So I'm going to leave my owl there, but I'm going to start working a little bit on Dumbledore here. Now this is going to become his hat. And what I'm going to do is take it out slightly like that from the red. And you'll see the red in there when you pause and see there, if I show you here. This is what you're going to work from. So we're taking it out slightly there for the hat. And then here, I'm going to take the hair out as well. I'm going to take it out and round so it comes to the edge of the clipboard there. And there, I'll just take that line there as a start. And here I'm gonna start putting in what will become his um, face. Now that line there that you're putting in, that's actually gonna be the top, his glasses, the top of his glasses. So I'm gonna bring it down to there and around to there. So just don't, don't get in a state thinking about his face. Just think about the shapes and then we'll finish it off. The next I'm going to start by focusing on Dumbledore. I'm going to put a little line in here and a couple of lines there on his hat. That's his hat finished. And then I'm going to rub out these shapes, this kind of column that gave us the foundations to build Dumbledore on. I'm coming back here to the top of the glasses. And I'm just going to put in two half circles. Can you see those, those half circles that will make up his... It looks really odd here. So let's just get a little line there, which will form his nose. And a couple of dots underneath for his nose. So we're not doing a big triangle. His glasses hang under his eyes. And what I want you to do for his eyes is put in two dots there. And over the dots, you're going to go with... A little line. You see how suddenly Dumbledore comes from that. Right, let's give him two eyebrow eyebrows as well. The eyebrows really help. This here then is his moustache. Okay, so we've got his moustache coming down and we're just going to put a little line in for his mouth. So coming here, let's turn this beard. You know how sometimes he has that, it's almost like a ponytail at the bottom of his beard. It just seems so disrespectful for to say the words ponytail and Professor Dumbledore in the same. I'm so sorry, Professor. There we go. And I'm going to put a couple of lines in for his hair. Now, coming on to the candles, each of the candles has got this dripping wax as if we've got centuries of wax coming down and a little candle coming from the top. So each of these columns you've put in, 
you just want to put in some dripping wax shapes coming down like that and just put the little candle in at the top. Now on this one, we really see it. It's a really, when you pause, I'll show you on the thing. When you pause, you can really see these shapes coming down. So pop in those shapes too. And then what we're gonna do is we've got the candle stick here. It's like a candelabra that comes off the lectern. And we, what we want to do is to bring it in, in this sort of shape round like that so it comes bigger and then we've got another one coming up there so Dumbledore's body now is super simple we've got an arm that comes in here and we're just going to soften that line there that's really all it is to finish off Dumbledore let's do these candles on the other side now so same idea really we we'll just soften the line put a little flame in and then add all this crazy wax shapes coming down and then you want to just be coming in and rubbing out that column there, soften it all up. Same here, coming down like that. Okay, right, to finish off now, we've got the bottom of the lectern. So what I want you to do is to come in the bottom of the owl here and we're gonna put two owl's feet in. Uh, simple shapes. We've got a tail here that comes out in lines and then he sits on it's like a it's almost like a crystal ball so pop in the ball shape like that and then you can take the bottom of it down and then we've got this twirling shape that comes round like that and that is our drawing, so we're going to get painting now. So I've got a selection of watercolour pencils here. You can do this with paints if you want, or coloured pencils or whatever you've got. I'm going to use watercolour pencils and we'll do a few techniques and things, ways you can use watercolour pencils. And I'm going to start by colouring in this flesh tone of Dumbledore. And I'm taking my yellow ochre unbelievably lightly here. So lightly, I'm not even sure you're going to be able to see it, but and then I'm going to put a touch of pink in there as well. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to turn this to pink. Just so I'm pulling in the pink. So it's almost mixing on the page, really. Pulling in the pink into the yellow ochre. And you see, to get that flesh color, I'm leaving his mustache. And I'm doing that there. So very quick, very easy way. No fuss way to get a, a, a good bit of a skin color in there. Right, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I mean, it's barely wet, it's going to take a minute, I'm going to come and do the candles. And what I'm doing for the candles is I'm going to go around each of these with a lemon yellow. I'm not colouring in any of the centre of them. Coming around with a lemon yellow, like that. I'll do the same on this side. I know they're white, really, the candles, but obviously I want a way for them to show up against the paper and this was the way I thought would work. Okay, I'm gonna take my wet brush, making sure it's clean. Fair bit of water on there to bring it in. And can you see, well, as I pull it in, it's giving me a quite pale color there, which I'm really happy with. I discovered this when we were doing Lumiere for Beauty and the Beast. Um, because this is how we did him and I thought it worked really well. So that's that done. Right, coming up now, I'm going to pop in his hat and I'm going to do that by using this sort of mid-green colour. I'm going to go around, put that in there like that. But also, because I don't want it to be super green, I'm going to put some grey in there too, just to dull it down. And can you see that's what happens as soon as I turn it to paint and I'm going to go there in a bit and I've got my green. Right, coming on to the owl now, this is the bit that takes the time. If you did the snitch, it is very like that. What we're doing is we're going over all, I'm going to add a few extra lines in here. We're going to go over all the 
the lines that we did earlier. Put the yellow oak around like this. So all those, I'm going to do this super fast here, all those wings. Coming up, do the candelabra as well, because that's in the same gold. Coming round like this. I really don't go as fast as this. Take your time. I just want to. There we go. And then coming round for that. Can you believe this is the 138th lesson, Elizabeth? Nope. I know. I'll put a bit extra in there like that. And I'm going to turn. Turn it like that. Pulling in. Just keep pulling in the pigment. And as soon as you touch your brush to it. These watercolour pencils are amazing and they are, we've loved them. We've used them right through the daily drawer. It just makes painting, it's not messy, it just makes it, it's a, they're a mum's dream to be honest. You do need the right kind of paper, so these sketch pads are perfect for that and you can do one on each side as well because the paper's so thick or you can buy paper on our website as well and they're both that's so all for sale on the little art school website right, so i've got that here with my owl now i'm going to come in i'm going to put in dumbledore's beard and here and i'm just going to go down here like that with my gray very gently and over the mustache and a couple of little lines in and making sure that my brush is clean. I'm gonna do that and just turn it to paint. It takes the white away because his beard is really very gray. It is like, it's a gray rather than a white beard. So we get that effect. Now with my gray watercolor pencil, I'm gonna go over the glasses there. So I get that effect and a little bit over the nose. Touch pink in the mouth, barely any. And then I'm gonna put in two blue dots there for the eyes. He's got those piercing blue eyes, hasn't he, Dumbledore? There we go, and we'll have some eyebrows as well. So not much to do now to finish it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna put the blue in here, which is like the crystal ball bit. Making sure my brush is clean. I'll turn that to paint there. And then I forgot to get a dark brown. I'm going to use a dark brown up here on the wooden bit and the um, unexpected clipboard. What does he say on this in his speech? I'm wondering if there'll be some Harry Potter fans out here who'll be able to guess which film this comes from or which book. Where he's wearing the green. Do you know, Elizabeth? It's six. She thinks six. Could be six. He just looks so serious, doesn't he? Doesn't look that serious in the early ones. Now I'm going to go around here, around his sort of um, his clothes here at the side with the green. I'm also going to put grey in there because I want a greyish green. So I'm almost ready for the final bit of the daily draw. I have to say, guys, to everybody who sent us all their pictures and has kept us going. That is what has kept Elizabeth and I going every day for three months. Seeing your pictures, seeing that you're doing it, reading your messages, it's been an absolute joy. And we've got through this lockdown and we all know we're coming out of it now and it's fabulous. But we were, I think, here at the Little Art School, all in it together with you. That was what we wanted. We wanted to keep you drawing right the way through this homeschooling. I was so pleased that you did. So let's finish it with these last bits turning to paint into there. hard to believe that this is the last one that this is the last one of our daily draws that Elizabeth and I will do so first of all Elizabeth 
you're a superstar thank you she's just here she's been by my side every single day um it's been amazing to be with you guys right through i feel like i've made all these friends right across uh facebook uh for for all of us at the little art school team it's been brilliant so what are we going to do now at the little art school well elizabeth and i might take a day off probably only one though right through the summer holidays usually at the little art school we would be holding holiday clubs and we're not going to be holding holiday clubs because we can't be in our studios at the moment so instead every week elizabeth and i are going to be releasing a free online holiday club we've got some real treats lined up in there that i think you're going to really enjoy so next week we're going to release the first one and it's from the magical film inside out and we are going to be doing that next week so tune in to us to make sure that you catch that to, to keep up to date on everything we're doing at the little art school you really really need to subscribe so make sure you subscribe here on our youtube channel get in touch with us go on our website see what we're up to um, and join us for our holiday clubs right through the holidays uh, you guys have been amazing keep drawing keep drawing every day that's how you're going to become amazing artists